Hi, I'm James and I want to shoot a vlog, so I need a vlogging camera. But what is a vlogging camera these days? Well, it seems that the camera industry wants to sell us cameras that are basically normal cameras, but with video-oriented specs, and they're trying to sell that to us as a vlogging camera. So let's take this as a case in point. This is my Canon EOS R5. Kind of overkill for a vlogging camera, but it's, you know, let's just pretend this is a regular mirrorless camera. So I want to shoot a vlog. Well, first of all, I take a look at the lens. Okay, it's a 50mm lens, and this is too close for a 50mm, so first thing I'll do is get rid of that, find my 35, well, that's probably not wide enough, so find my 16 or some other lens. Pop that on. Okay, then I need to open up this, go into these menu, uh, change my log profile, I need to make sure that my shutter speed is double that of the frame rate, and then I've got to think, oh, am I shooting this frame rate for NTSC or for PAL? So does that mean 24 or 30, or 50 or 60? Uh, then I've got to find myself uh, a tripod or a gorilla pod, and then I've got to do the whole thing of you know, making sure it it's stays still and it's in the right place. What people want is a single device, no lenses, no anything else, nothing to faff around with. It just has one button on the front that they can press and record. Meet this. This is the Canon PowerShot V10. And this is exactly what a vlogging camera should be. Uh, I'm going to show you how easy it is to start vlogging on this without any of the faff involved in this. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is turn the camera on. Then I'm going to pop up the screen and I'm going to fold down the stand. Then I'm going to point it at me and I'm going to press either the big red button here or the big red button here. Tally light and we're recording. Simple as that. No need to change log settings, no need to faff around with tripods, no need to change frame rate, shutter speed, anything at all. I just put this thing on the table, it's got a built-in stand, I push the button, it goes. It's exactly the same principle as using my phone, right? And also, let's, let's take a look at this. This is the size compared to my phone. Better yet, it's not very health conscious, but look, this is, yeah, that's, uh, that's a Hello Kitty cigarette packet. But look, this thing is the size of a packet of cigarettes. It's tiny, it fits in your pocket. In fact, let me show you this. That camera is the size of the screen of my R5. So that camera's tiny, it goes anywhere, and there we go, I've set it up, I'm blogging. Um, well, now I'm recording a vlog. This can also live stream. It can live stream to Facebook, to YouTube, um, can upload stuff to the cloud, uh, um, image.canon, all of that good stuff. Basically, what I'm saying is this is what a vlogging camera should be. Look at this. Face detect. It's following me around the frame. If I move back, if I move forward. Um, it's a contrast detect system. It's about the same um, capability as the G7X Mark III, which was a very popular vlogging camera. Um, this um, field of view is, I believe, 18 mil. It's 19 mil in stills, 18 mil for video, or vice versa, might be wrong about that. But point being, it's fire and forget. If I want to, I can turn this vertically, and this will record vertical video, and it will keep it vertical for me as well when it comes to uploading, but obviously I don't want to do that, and I'm now going to have to work out how I go about um, accommodating that into the video. It's also got auto leveler, so if the frame is slightly off kilter, it's not a really good place to demonstrate it here, but for example, if you're shooting on a hill or in a car and the car is kind of unlevel, if it's a little bit off balance, the camera will automatically level it for you. So, that's it. You can take manual control of this, so um, I could, were I to stop recording this, um, well, why the hell don't I do that? There we go. Okay, so we've got a familiar Q menu, as we have many Canon uh, cameras, uh, Canon EOS cameras as well, so we can choose, hey, what kind of detect, um, I can choose a manual focus point, face detect, face tracking, um, I can choose some filters if I want to, or some creative modes. Uh, what I actually wanted to show you is, um, there, if I press the camera button itself, I can choose between, um, so that's auto, um, I can choose uh, smooth skin if I really want to, uh, movie IS with image stabilization, 
or I can choose to take things completely manual, in which case I can choose to set my own uh, shutter aperture ISO. But uh, I don't want to do any of those because I want to do some on-the-go vlogging, so... Back in the room. This is the camera, this is the vlogging camera that I think people have been waiting for. I know lots of people have got different ideas about what a vlogging camera should be. A lot of people really love the Sony ZV-E10, ZV-E1, I lose track, they, they have very similar names. Um, and it's, it's great, it is a great camera, it's a great content creation camera. Could I give that Sony to, um, to my mum? and expect her to be able to record some video content? No, she'd be incredibly confused. She wouldn't know what any of the menus were. She wouldn't know how to uh, operate the lens. She wouldn't know about frame rate, shutter speed. But my mum knows how to use her phone. And if I gave my mum this camera and just said, push that button, it starts recording. If I want to walk and talk, there's no good way of showing this. If I want to walk and talk, I can. I can also vlog and film what's in front of me. You can see my very exciting ring light uh, and a bit of dark and gloomy kitchen. Um, this is a home run. To my mind, this camera is a home run. Yes, there are some limitations. It doesn't have weather sealing. Um, in order to mount um, windshields, um, the dead cats, the fluffy, wind blockers, um, you need to attach some um, magnetic attachments to the camera um, rather than magnets being built in. The reason we were given from Canon is that um, it was not a global, it was not believed to be a, a global necessity to put built-in magnets and all the built-in ability to be able to mount um, the windshields onto the camera. Some territories apparently don't need those, but for other territories uh, they were deemed to be very necessary. So. Canon Europe, being one of the territories that wants that feature, has gone ahead and made a deal with um, Small Rig to produce a cage and uh, to really, you know, look after the customers in that territory that want those things. So, um, yeah, it's a 20 megapixel sensor. Could it be more? I guess. Uh, it's a vlogging camera. It's going to go on social media, so I don't think it needs to be much more than 20 megapixels. Like I say, no-brainer. I think this is a real home run of a camera. I think anyone who shoots spontaneous, run-and-gun, on-the-go content. Um, if you're somebody who wants to shoot uh, in a considered way and do storyboards and plan and go out with shot lists and you do want to grade and do all those things, yeah, you, you might need um, a more dedicated video camera or a content creation camera. If you just want to stick something, I was going to say stick it on a tripod, you don't need a tripod because it's got a built-in stand. If you just want to stream, or you want to, you're out on the go, you're on vacation, you want to take some holiday snaps. Oh, this does this does stills as well. I've never mentioned that. This is a stills camera, so um, you can take it from. So again, with a push of um, a couple of buttons, it's got some physical controls on the back as well. But um, I'm personally digging the on-screen stuff. There we go. Uh, now it's uh, now it's a regular camera. I've just taken a selfie of uh, of me and my setup. Sweet. Um, let's take a picture of my ring light. And then I'm gonna go back to uh, video. And now we're back to vlogging again. So, yeah, there are, there are people who are going to need dedicated video cameras and content creation cameras, of course, but there are far more people, to my experience, and to people who ask me questions, and my friends and my family who ask me stuff, people want the functionality of a smartphone with the quality of a camera. This is the, the holy grail, right? This is what the camera industry has been trying to achieve ever since smartphones started eroding camera sales. People want the convenience of this with the quality of that. And that's what you get here. That's what you get here. Canon PowerShot V10. And I think the real mark, the real mark of whether or not a camera is any good is whether a jaded old camera journalist would use it or would buy it. And I really like this camera, and I think I want one. So there you go. That's my verdict of the Canon PowerShot V10. Off the cuff, because this whole thing, the whole point of this was to be spontaneous and just put a thing on a table and start filming, which is the spirit of the V10. And um, it's done its job probably better than I've done my job. So thanks for watching, and uh, 
Catch you next time.